So Crystal Beast decks have become very popular in my um, own interests uh, as of recent and so today I decided to showcase my Crystal Beast deck that I've been grinding towards for the past three to four weeks. So as again I've got it on this screen over here which I'm going to move real quick, sorry about the noise. And uh, yeah so just going to talk through it, you can see some footage in the background so let's go. So we're playing three Rainbow Dragons to start, um, Rainbow Dragon is effective for this Crystal Beast deck because you need seven different crystal beasts in your like in your uh, field or in the spell zones uh, on the field as monsters or a graveyard you can special summon it and then uh, the extra deck monster is rainbow over dragon which basically banishes any of your graveyard crystal beast monsters uh, to gain their attacks so for example if you have you're playing three pegasus so if we have crystal beast sapphire pegasus in the graveyard banish it to um well just banish it out of the graveyard over that dragon gains 1800 attack and then you have an OTK right there. Um, we're playing all seven Crystal Beasts, only one copy of, of every single one except Pegasus. Pegasus can be, literally bring out one of them into a spell zone when it's summoned uh, normally. Uh, rare value, if you have two in the uh, spell and trap zones, uh, your opponent discards one from there. Draw two cards. Medley of Awakened Dragon, basically you can discard a Rainbow Dragon to get another two. Uh, Crystal Promise, I'm going to change for Crystal Bond, that's, that's a card I'm trying to work on. That's level 45 for Jesse Anderson, I'm on level 40 at the moment. Free Raigekis, just to give us the power play, just so we don't get OTK by any uh, Blue Eyes decks or any Dark Magician decks and uh, Ancient Gears, Samurais. Uh, six Samurais have been popular recently in Cyber Angels, so it's a quick little way to counter it. But um, in terms of cards I would change in this deck, there aren't really any, except for Crystal Promise, of course. Crystal Promise is the card that I just don't really want to change, to be honest. Um, I do like Crystal Raigeki, the three of them. Uh, it just helps me to get some players out and stuff. Um, obviously, the, the three Rainbow Dragons obviously are effective, but um, apart from that, there's nothing much I would change in this deck. But overall, I'm having a lot of fun filming these videos for you guys, making these decks, showcasing the different playstyles of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is like this is like a more casual type playstyle, I guess. It's not really like a you, you can't play competitive with this deck. There are opportunities for competitive play with rainbow dragon and uh rainbow over dragon the only downside to this is you if you play like against enemy controller uh, cards or mirror walls or stuff like that you're gonna feel the backlash of this deck competitively because many people are using like neos fusions but the soldiers cyber angels ancient gear golems even lava golem i've seen a few times U Bell. um so Apart from that, you this is just like a this is a casual deck. You can go in ranked. Even like I've I've played this in KC Cup and I have been un, undefeated by this uh, five nil. Um, I've faced loads of Dark Magician decks, loads of um, like Blue Eyes decks. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, I've faced a lot of them, and uh, yeah, so it's I don't even know. It's kind of difficult to understand uh, how people don't like this deck. I think it's because it's too one-dimensional, I guess. There's no re real way to develop this deck because all you're doing essentially is bringing out monsters as spell and trap cards, banishing them f from the graveyard or sending them to the graveyard from the field spell zones or the field to bring out a level 10 monster, which is good for like casuals. But then zero defense on a level 10, uh, 4,000 attack, but then you can tribute that to Fusion Summon or some special summon a fusion monster from the extra deck, which can gain the attack. But there's not really much expansion you can get on this. For example, like with the Dark Magician deck I showed you guys the other day, which by the way, thank you guys so much for the support. Um it's got about almost hundred views now, a few like four to five likes. Thank you guys for watching it and leaving a like and stuff. But yeah, with the Dark Magician deck, like I said, there's loads of ways to expand on it, extend the deck, uh, change the deck around. There's only one card in here uh, that needs changing, and that's Crystal Promise for Crystal Bond. And you have the perfect Rainbow Over Dragon deck. Uh, you can pretty much OTK with this. Because Crystal, like, if you draw into Pegasus twice, you can send one Pegasus using the skill uh, Transcendent Crystals, which basically 
you can discard up to I think it's three or two cards. Um, no, it's two cards, and then uh, send them to the graveyard. And then you can bring two crystal beasts from your deck or hand into the spell and trap zones. So then, essentially, you, the power play that I've been having a lot of uh, fun with is double Pegasus draw along with one of a crystal beast. I usually get two crystal Pegasus and a, and a uh, tiger. Send one of the Pegasus and Tigers to the graveyard. Bring in any two, so Cat and Carbuncle, I think it's called. Uh, have rare value in hand. Draw, draw, add to it rare value. Draw either Melody Awakened Dragon or Crystal Raigeki. If you get Raigeki, put it down. Special summon, a uh, normal summon the Pegasus. Bring out Eagle. And then um, wait till your next turn. The opponent does what they need to do. Use Raigeki to destroy the monster that they put on the field or any card on the field. Um, on their side of the field, obviously. And then if you survive that turn, draw again and you can draw into a I don't know like a melody of awakened dragon or another rare value if you draw into another pegasus you're sorted for this um and you, you only have mammoth left so it like you can literally just win in one turn that's just how it is i've won with one turn in this deck so many times and it's so satisfying i played against people in kc cup who were like playing elemental neos uh fusions and rituals like Black like, Soldier rituals and uh, Gaia Knights, I think that's what it's called, Dark, like Dark Magician decks. And I've OTK'd with this deck. I remember I played against someone the other day who had, I think it was a Lava Golem deck. And I had Lava Golem on my side of the field, but I still managed to beat this guy using the Crystal Beasts because Lava Golem, obviously, it needs two monsters, but it helped me get rid of the one monster that I needed to get rid of. And then Rainbow Dragon was on the field, and then Over Overdark Dragon came out, and then he had a, he had an empty, uh, well he had a back row, but it was nothing special. It was just an enemy controller, but I had one of my own, so we I pretty much switched his defense, uh, his attack position monster to defense, and he switched mine to defense. Then uh, in his turn, he couldn't attack because he activated an effect of his card, which negated an activation of my spell card, which was rare value. So then I managed to flip. Uh, set, um, not flip set, like uh, change Rainbow Dragon to a dark attack, posi attack position and then direct, direct attack 5800. So this deck can do wonders for people regardless of like anything really. Um, it's, a, it's a fun little deck and I really enjoy uh, playing with this deck. I've faced Jan uh, a few times with this deck, so Jan if you're watching, um, you know how good this deck is at times. Um, I played him and he faced me with a blue eyes deck, a elemental elemental hero deck, I think it was, or Destiny Heroes. I think I think it was both. I know he used Jaden, um Asta Phoenix as his name, and uh Kyber. I used Anderson and I showed him my Tyrone Infinity deck, which he which we have worked on, which I'll bring you guys another video. But uh yeah, so that has been a Crystal Beast deck for Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Um let me know what you guys thought of this video down below in the comments if you decide to comment. Thank you again for the immense support on the Dark Magician uh, deck Duel Links video and the Blue Eyes Dark Magician Duel video that me and Jan did on Sunday, I think it was, or Saturday last weekend, um, where we filmed each other uh, dueling and obviously I won because I'm the better Yu Gi Oh! duelist, even though that's not true. But Jan got sent to the Shadow Realm, so that's the highlight of my week <laughs> but uh, yeah so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like um and i i'm probably gonna do some vlogs on this channel soon probably some sixth form vlogs like me going to sixth form doing work and like you guys can see what i'm up to who knows but anyway i'll be glad guys please have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys hopefully in my next video peace out